what I, what I want to try to do uh, uh, this afternoon, uh, in, the, in the time allotted, uh, is to paint a picture. Uh, I want to paint a picture of this part of Long Island, uh, the, the beginning around 1820, and, and bringing you up to about 1870. I think that I can fit that into the, the time allowed. I could go on much longer, and uh, uh, but I'm not going to do that today. Maybe another time. Why do I pick 1820? I pick 1820 because it used to be thought that 18, 1820 was when Snedeker's Tavern was established right here. Uh, Dick Baldwin has argued that it it started before that. Uh, around 1811, he wrote me a letter saying that my date of 1820 was too late. It was about 1811 when uh, Liv Snedeker rented uh, the land from the Nickel family, Nickel family being the family that had the original Islip patent, uh, and started a, a inn or tavern. I guess they've been called both. Uh, well, why did why did he why did he pick this place? Uh, my response to that question is that it's the most centrally located place between New York City and the Hamptons. And if you think back to 1820 or 1810 or 1811, there was only one way to get from New York City out to Eastern Long Island on the south side. And that was along the South Country Road, which, of course, as we know, is right down here. There wasn't any other way. And if you look at your map and you see how the Connecticut River <coughs> flows into the what we call Great River and the Great South Bay, there's no way to get around this very spot, this, this half mile between where we are right now and the South Country Road was the only way, and every, every kind of carriage, uh, stagecoach, or, or coach that came from New York and wanted to make a call or to deliver the mail to any village east of here had to go through here. So this was the most critical place to establish an inn if you wanted to have a lot of business. And he had a lot of business uh, in those early years. Now, some of his guests were people, uh, one of them was a former mayor of New York, Philip Hone. Philip Hone is known to history uh, and historians like me because he wrote a diary. And his diary is one of the remarkable things uh, that uh, uh, we have as a past resource. Now, I'm just going to quote you something from from Hone's diary. As early as 1820, Elephant Snedeker had established a tavern on the site on the Connecticut River near the South Country Road. Here visitors from New York would come to take a stand on the river and cast for trout or in the fall hunt for deer or fowl. One said, I for myself during residence at Snedeker's killed five deers in six days of hunting two in one day, and returning to New York, having lived on venison and wild fowl during my four days away and my whole expense did not amount to ten dollars." <laughs> well, that was written in 1820 and appeared in the uh, Smithtown Star. So we know this place was going full blast in 1820. Hone, Philip Hone also wrote in 1836, when we went on to Snedeker's after dinner, where we found the house so full that if we had not taken the precaution to write in advance for beds, we might have had to lay on the floor. So this, this says to me, this was big business. I mean, to be a tavern owner, 
and to be in a key spot and to attract all kinds of guests. Uh, I'm sure the liquor flowed freely. Uh, it, it, was, it was a busy place to be.